everyone and welcome back to another Green Man Travels adventure and today we're on a new map called Laren. So this map was actually released yesterday on the 7th of the 3rd 2024. It is only available for PC and Mac. It's on version 1.0.0.0. It's 303.04 megabytes to download and it's made by a mapper called Dutch Landscape. So I think this mapper has actually made a few Dutch based maps so I must admit this is a pretty nice um, Dutch map, I'll say that. There's a little bit of information on Modhub that we'll just quickly run through. So it says, this is a Dutch map based on a real place in the Netherlands called Laren. So there's 96 fields, there's 5 cell points, a small BGA, custom made license plates, custom textures, custom colour grading, which you can kind of tell actually because it's quite bright and nice in places. These uh, six farms, these more stone types are drawable. So I'm guessing that means these more terrains that you can draw or put down or paint from the uh, construction menu. So that's pretty good. And uh, there's quite a lot of required mods though. Like these on most Dutch maps these days. So we'll run through those really quickly. So we've got the small bunker silo by Camilo or Cam Camilos 0397. Placeable dairy farm packaged by DMI 20mm Normandy. Old farm package by, you guessed it, 20 mm, DMI 20mm Normandy. Modern shed pack by DMI 20mm Normandy and Dutch modding. Cow shed 3 plus 1 by same person. Meadow fence pack by Cayman. Dutch shed pack by Ref Farmer and DMI 20mm Normandy. Bunker solo by DMI 20mm Normandy. Farm solo package by, again, DMI 20mm Normandy. BGA 60 kilowatt by um, Myth5FS I think it is, I'm not 100% sure on that one, I never really remember how to pronounce that. Um, Dutch contract shed by Dutch Modding Inc. Cow shed packed by DMI 20mm Normandy. Slurry storage packed by Dutch Modding Inc. Dutch pig size by Dutch Modding Incorporated or I think that's John Poeth. Fuel tank packed by Dutch Modding Inc. And finally the old cow shed by DMI 20mm Normandy. So pretty impressive with the amount of mods there so let's get our feet firmly back down on the ground have a quick look at our starting farm and our starting equipment so we don't start with an awful lot of equipment just a few nice bits and bobs we've got a couple of uh, small tracks we've got a Fent 511 and a Proxima from Zeta nice two nice tractors we've got the Schaefer front loader we've got the Salic little trailer we've got Pottinger plow we've got the Rab cultivator we've got the KH MGMD 4411 mower Got a Pottinger Alpine Hit Tedder, got a nice Pottinger Windrower, got a Pottinger Forage Wagon, a couple of front loader tools, a bucket and bale spike, and we have a Agco 658, so all good. Uh, don't have many leased items, or any leased items, and there's no map specific or mod specific uh, bits of equipment, so your starting farm is pretty standard to some, to a Dutch um, map to us here, so you've got Quite a nice layout, a little bit of a few texturing with some grass and some mud in places and some different shading here and there, so that's quite nice, I must admit. I believe the grass is custom as well, might be, I think, from uh, looking through the mod on mod assistance, that's nice. We do have, I think, our house maybe around here, it's got a house trigger or not. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Yes, they do, that's good. I know I've come across yeah there we go sleep trigger on my f1 menu up there we are but yeah apart from that all pretty nice solid clamp there ready for you another one there nice open shed i'm guessing this will be your cow barn so we'll go in there in a second um, and we have a slurry storage as well three layers so i'm guessing that means it's going to take quite a lot so pretty nice pretty nice have a quick look at where we start on the map and what we own so Obviously you can see we start at 32, but we own 30 and 29, which is field 69 and 59. So nice two grass fields, I must admit. The PDA is quite nice. It looks like they've used the um, Google Earth satellite view for some of the background. So that's pretty nice to see, I must admit, and also some of the buildings. So that uh, does bring up a little bit of uh, realism to it. So that's a really nice feature, I must admit. So that's good. And if we look at our crop calendar, now I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like this or not. I don't really know if this is a mistake by the um, model or whether it's just designed like this because they only want you to plant certain things in the ground that are done and obviously cultivated and harvested in 
the Netherlands in this area, but so there's only wheat, canola, oak, corn, potatoes, sugar beet, and grass. A bit strange, but uh, so the crop kind of has definitely been altered, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, prices wise, most things definitely do sell, as you can see. Um, I think the main, the main place that buys everything is the Camping the Wild, which we'll look at later actually, because it's a campsite in a wild campsite like in the trees. So, but obviously, just remember that you don't produce an awful lot from the crop calendar, so there's something to be aware of. Animals wise, we just start with the cow barn, which is here. So, I'm guessing if I open this up. Um, okay, so the actual buy trigger is in this door. Maybe not then. Pistol, probably. Yeah, okay, there we are. That's a 40 head. So not massive, but nice to get you going, I must admit. So contracts wise, obviously these 96 fields. So there's an awful lot of contracts going up. Not a massive amount of money, but they are still quite nice, as you can see. A good amount of money, good harvesting contracts there as well. Production change, we start with a biogas plant and also a Dutch sawmill. So if we just visit those quickly, have a quick look where they are on the map. Oh, right, spotted it. Not far away, actually. Just kind of over the road from the farm. So you own this biogas pump by the looks of it, um, which is quite nice. And you own a sawmill. So where is the sawmill? Let's have a quick look. Ah, right, okay. So the sawmill itself, by the looks of it, I'm going to say... Oh, right at the top here. So Dutch sawmill. So pretty good, pretty good. Um, I think that's pretty much everything in there. So let's have a look at our PDA itself. So as I said, obviously these areas here obviously look like maybe expansion of the map um, on another release potentially. So, but um, the map has got some very interesting shaped fields. It looks very natural and also you can tell it's based on a real area because of the PDA layout, etc. And everything it looks really nice can't really distinguish the roads as well as I thought you would but obviously that, I think that's because there's lots of trees around the sides of the road and they've used the satellite picture so that kind of makes sense but um, yeah very nice looking map I must admit it's a little bit different as well with all the different size and shaped fields so let's have a look at our productions and our uh, sell points on the map so the biogas plant that we already own um, Janssen Ballen van Korp so I don't know what that would be uh, at Animal Dealer, probably Bale Sale. I'm going to take a guess. If you do know in the comments, let me know. So, Agri Shop there. And then we've got the Camping to Wild, which I'll look at in a minute. Dutch Sawmill, Debris Crusher, and literally the Hash Tink Trading. So, probably a shop, I'm guessing. But one of the things I did see is I think if we go to Camping to Wild, which we'll go for here. So, nice little camping spot as your drop point there's a nice thing in there if we run through here i think go through the forest a bit more you'll see yeah you'll actually see that there's a playground people walking around lots of tents caravans picnic tables so really nice little uh, addition to the map actually i think it's really nice eh? a place there to put your rubbish toilet block as well so yeah a nice little um you know, little feature and uh, uniqueness to the map. So well done to the uh, map maker for that. So if we ever get into a vehicle, I'm thinking, let's drop the Pottinger off. So a bit of a drive with our Fent tractor, and have a quick look. I think the best way to get out of here is probably around here. Is it through here? It'd be through here actually. Let's have a look on the map. Yeah, I think it might be. Okay, so we'll have a bit of a, a run around the map so we can find a main road somewhere. Well, no, that is just a field itself. So let's try and find the best way out of our farm. Ah, there. I must admit, I think the roads probably need to be to find a little bit better on the PDA than they are, so you can spot where you're going. But apart from that, not too bad at all. So I think if we're Okay, so the PDA thinks we're in a field. Okay, that's a bit strange, but okay. Right, let's take a bit of a trip down here and see if it leads to the main road. Um, obviously, the map being based in the Netherlands, um, the fields are pretty flat actually. There's not much contouring, much not much undulation going on. So, but um, 
hopefully we can make it through these fields. Obviously they're not quite nice sized fields, the dike's been well done, it's a nice custom vegetation, nice grass, nice texturing going on. So again, we'll turn right I think. Seems like a very thin small road though, so we will probably go in cab for this because of the uh, trees that align the road. Wow, okay, I'm not sure if I'm going the wrong way here. I might be, you know. Oh, edge of the map. I think I am. Let's die kit and try again. This could be quite fun. Right. right. Made it back. Roads are, um, yeah, interesting to say the least. Quite small, quite tight, very narrow for big equipment. So this is not a map for big equipment, I must admit. So quite surprised, actually. Um, obviously, I'm not quite sure how the traffic spine has been done, but it's not best designed for big equipment, I must admit. So we'll carry on up here, though, a little bit. Not too far to go through this residential area here. Some nice custom sounds though, the frogs uh, took down a sign there, so that gives someone a job to do. And then what we'll do, I think, we'll just pull over just up here, I think. It might look like a bit of a dairy, it's because we're constantly having to drive on the edge of the road here to actually get past any of the uh, traffic. I think the traffic might all go one way, then suddenly, okay, let's stop there. And then hopefully it's, uh, oh, random collision point yes okay finding a few little isms on the map today that's for sure let's go this side then no okay got a bit stuck here Right, I think on that though, we'll probably just uh, get out of the tractor to check it. So, I don't think it's stuck anywhere. But I think what we'll do, we'll have a quick look at our field prices and see how much they are. So, we want to expand around our farm. Uh, 41,000, 46,000, 77,000, 45,000. It's not too bad. 85 there. A bit further into the map. 43, 465. 176, 808 for that one, 623 for that one, 712 for that one, okay, pretty impressive, 586 for that one, so not too bad at all, um, 45, 272, so yeah, not too bad at all, I must admit, can you buy the campsite? You can buy the outlying area of the map for 10 point two million so quite a lot of money um found a few isms on the map i think but um generally though it's a very nice put together map and uh, hopefully everyone's going to give it a go and see how they get on but hopefully you've enjoyed the map tour if you have give it a like subscribe to the grain man channel and i hope to see you again soon many thanks for watching